recognizing a scam or a hoax. Now, there are always going to be people around looking to scam or con other people. Today, most scams are online. And as teachers, we must make our students aware of these scams. I'm going to discuss a few of those scams with you right now. First off, you did not win a million dollars. For that matter, you didn't win a new car, you didn't win a new laptop, or anything else of real value. Online thieves will use this as bait to get your information and take advantage of you. And although it may be hard to walk away from the possibility of winning a brand new computer, just remember, it is a scam. Second, you were not chosen for a hot date. We tell children not to talk to strangers in real life, but they shouldn't talk to strangers on the internet as well. The cyber world is just as dangerous as real life. Lastly, you won't get bad luck for not forwarding emails. People are preying on your superstition and they use your superstition to spread their information or their agenda or their beliefs. Now, just because someone else superstitious emails you a chain mail doesn't mean you have to participate in that chain mail. Thank you for your time and please watch the next video in the series, Detecting False Information.